we might die even though we don't inject the intravenous drugs or practice unsafe sex because our government who draws a six-figure income to provide a safe and stable environment for us is failing in his job. But he's still sleeping at night somehow while the rest of us are freezing our butts off outside, <laughs> you know? And something definitely needs to be done about the police here, the way they abuse their power and violate people's civil rights. And they're just bullies. People say to watch out for the Hells Angels and the bikers and the Jamaicans. Bullcrap, the most brutal organized crime group in Montreal is without a doubt the Montreal Police Force. And I hope one day the people can gather up and stand against them just like they did with Occupy Montreal. Because somebody needs to police the police. Y a-t-il une personne responsable? Parce qu'on a vu l'information que vous étiez pour être environ peut-être 80 personnes aujourd'hui à venir euh, mettre reçu de votre quartier général ici. Ça devrait être avant, ça devrait être avant. Ouais, sûrement. <rire> fait qu'au fait, euh, c'est bien simple. Euh, je venais juste me présenter. Euh, c'est moi qui suis superviseur en charge du poste de quartier ici au poste 21. Euh, puis je m'en venais au fait de euh, voir un peu euh, c'était quoi euh, vos intentions. We're here to honor Farshad Mohammadi, who uh, was the first murder victim of the Montreal police this year. Hopefully there won't be any more, but uh, they do are consistent, however. Um, it's always the same, it's always homeless people that are uh, shot. Uh, and sadly, we'll never find justice. The police uh, officers involved won't be blamed, and uh, just another one of these things for them. Uh, police corps is investigating the police. So uh, I'm sure they'll find uh, find justice there, and they'll bring light to the, the events in the field. Um, yeah, just want another addition to a already long list of uh, citizens, uh, especially homeless people murdered by the Montreal police. He was a political refugee from Iran. And he escaped, he was, uh, and uh, because of difficulty in life or in personal things, and yeah, he was killed. So we have been trying to understand and, and have a kind of place to learn from others, you know, have a solidarity with this issue. I want to say that oppression should stop anyway, in any form, any country, especially countries that. Uh, proclaim that they are uh, a democracy. Exactly. I'm here to pay my respects because I believe that people deserve to live and it's not in our hands or anybody else's, whether it's the police or the government, to end anybody's life for no reason. And I'm also here because I know what it feels like to lose people and for people to die for their rights and for, freedom, for their freedom because I'm from Syria, and right now in Syria people are dying uh, so many every day just for the simple right of having the right to speak and the right to just for, the, for their rights.